Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash Cairo Business Mojo. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Welcome to the Cairo Business Mojo Podcast, where we deconstruct the methods, marketing, and mindset of successful business people and chiropractors from around the world. And now your host, Dr. Richard Day. Yes, it's true. I am Dr. Richard Day, and this is the Cairo Business Mojo Podcast. Thanks again for checking in with us. Today on the show, I want to talk to you about how you can get busier. Are you busy enough? Do you want more patience? What's keeping that from happening? Well, sometimes it's our mindset. We've all heard of the law of attraction, but have you heard of Parkinson's law? So we own two practices and we manage several employees at each location. And one of the things that we have found is that when we are trying to work with our employees to get busier and to get more done in a day, one of the things that they'll tell us is, well, we don't have time for that. We're busy with X, Y, and Z. And I understand there are very, you know, when you are open to the public, you are at the mercy of that phone that could call any minute, the person that could walk in at any minute. And so your day, you might have in mind exactly what you're going to get done and how you're going to get that done. But even before you come in, there's been times when I've gone into the office early to get some work done and there's a patient in the parking lot. So things don't always go the way you plan them to. So that's really what makes this even more important. I was talking to an employee the other day and we are working on a plan to get the practice busier. So what we're looking at is what we have to do as a practice each day. And we started making a list. These are the amount of new patients coming in. These, This is the amount of repeat visits that are coming in. And these are the marketing activities we're engaged in. This is, this is the time we're dedicating towards note-taking and completion of notes, billing, so on and so forth. And we found that there are huge holes. There is a lot of time that is not being well utilized. And so What Parkinson's law is, it states this, work expands to fill the time available for its completion. So think about it. You have a week to get a project done that should take about two hours. It's not uncommon that we somehow find a way to spread this task over the entire week because we know we have a week to get to it. And maybe it becomes more complex along the way with more steps because, you know, we've got this entire week to get to it. And so looking back at the end of the week, we can see that we were very, very busy, but we weren't very productive. And so I feel that this really relates to the power of attraction or the law of attraction. So if we want to be busier, but we see ourselves as really busy the way we are as this with the status quo as is, how are we going to make time? How are we going to feel in our minds and in our hearts that we could be busier when we're pretty darn busy as it is? So my challenge is this. Take tasks that you normally do. Let's say it's something that you would do in an hour and cut it down to a half an hour. Maybe it's checking email instead of a 30 minute ritual when you come in uh, in the morning and start checking emails. Maybe you cut it down to five minutes and you may not nail these. You may not knock these out of the park each time. Maybe you're going to go over and that's okay. And some of your estimates in your time might be right on and you might discover this as well. You know, if it takes you an hour to thoroughly review all of your notes for the day and make sure that there are no mistakes in the billing and you've covered all of the modalities that were done and all of the right regions, you've written a good note. Uh, maybe that's what it takes. You've dialed that one in and you know that one backward and forwards. And certainly if you cut that in half, you would be sacrificing quality. So that's what I want you to do is go through and figure out where you are wasting time and do it by cutting the time you allot yourself in half. And at the end of the week, do whatever it takes to finish up tasks that are undone, but maybe you'll gain a new perspective over how to use your time more efficiently. And when you see how much extra time you have in a day, you will mentally say, I am available for these people. I am going to attract those people in because I've got time for you. Come on in and see me. I hope this has been helpful to you, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Psst. Hey, this is Dr. Day. I hope you are enjoying the show. If you are, please do us a favor and jump on over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and review. Thanks. Thanks for listening to the Cairo Business Mojo Podcast at www.cairobusinessmojo.com.